Let's take this blank shirt. Oh, you suck! And turn it to a sublimated T. First off, we'll open up our photo editing software for our sublimation prints. I like to use Inkscape or GIMP. Once you have Inkscape open, you'll want to right click the ruler on top and set it for inches. After that, you'll go to File and Document Properties. And in this screen is where you will set the specifications for your print. You have different sizes and formats to choose from. You can do it custom or you can pick the templates that it automatically has in the Inkscape software when you originally download it. No additional purchases are needed for it. Okay, so now once we have our print area set, as long as we fit the print inside that white box, that is what will print. Anything outside will not. So next we'll go to File, Import, we'll select our downloaded file that we're going to use and import that here. Once your image loads into the screen, what you'll want to do is align it as close as you can to the middle here. And you see the width and height options up there that used to be for the print box. Now you can use that to change the size of your print to whatever specifications you need. Since we're printing on an 8.5 by 11 and doing a portrait, I'm doing 10.75 by 8.25 for my print size. And just like I mentioned before, as long as it lines up in that box, that's exactly what we'll print. So now we have it perfectly set here. We are going to go to File, and we're going to select on Print. We'll make sure that we're connected to our F170, and set it for Landscape Print. And we'll go ahead and hit Print here to save the settings and start to print. So now that the design is printed, we'll align it to the center of the shirt and tape it down to ensure no hazing or ghosting occurs. Once you have the design centered and taped down to your shirt, make sure that your heat press is set at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 seconds. I like to use parchment paper uh, to cover my prints for the sublimation because it allows for heat and pressure to transfer through the ink to the garment way better. Once you're done pressing, allow a few seconds to cool, then uncover your design and voila, a work of art. Now you went from a blank shirt to a perfectly sublimated shirt in no time.